Hello there! This video explains how to check the engine coolant level on a Nissan Micro K11. Why bother? Because if there isn't enough, at best, the engine runs too hot and, at worst, it breaks down and sustains a significant amount of damage. Oh dear! So, I'll show you where to find the engine coolant reservoir, how to take a reading, what to do if the level's too low, and explain how this peculiar little device might confirm that your coolant isn't performing to standard and that it might actually damage your car. It's weird, isn't it? Ah, interesting. Welcome to Car Spy TV. Right, here's how to check the engine coolant level on a Nissan Micro K11. The process varies just a little depending whether your car has a petrol or diesel engine. Let's start with petrol. First, ensure that the engine is stone cold so that your reading is accurate and, more important, so that hot coolant doesn't escape from the system as you inspect it and burn you. Next, open the bonnet and find the engine coolant reservoir. It's here on the car's left. Furthermore, there are minimum and maximum markers on the exterior of the reservoir. The maximum marker is here. And the minimum marker is here. So, peer through the reservoir, which is slightly transparent, and check the level of the coolant relative to these markers. If the level is between the minimum and maximum, that's fine. Happy days! Your job is done, so forget it and go to the pub. However, in contrast, if the level is below the minimum marker, like on the car we're using in this video, you'll have to add coolant to the reservoir before you get your own liquid refreshment. This is easy. Simply unscrew the yellow cap and add coolant all the way to the maximum mark. Furthermore, if the coolant is below minimum, check the level in the radiator too. The radiator is here, towards the front of the engine bay. To check the level, unscrew this cap on the top of the radiator and peer inside. Ensure the coolant is close to the top. If not, add coolant to the radiator as well as the aforementioned reservoir. Okay. As I said earlier, if your Nissan Micro K11 has a diesel engine rather than petrol, there's a slightly different process to check the engine coolant level. For example, the reservoir is here on the right of the car rather than on the left. I don't have a picture of this type of reservoir, but the arrow shows you where to look. Furthermore, you have to unscrew the cap on the reservoir and peer inside to see the minimum and maximum markers. In every other respect, the process is the same as for the petrol cars. It's true, you know. It says so in this top secret owner's manual. Okay, let's have a look at this peculiar device I showed you at the start of the video. It's a refractometer, but how can it help you prevent damage to your car? Well, bear in mind that engine coolant contains a high percentage of water, so if the ambient temperature is low enough, it can freeze, literally. If it freezes, it expands, and that expansion might shatter expensive components. Bear in mind that, among other things, engine coolant runs through the aforementioned reservoir, the radiator and metal channels in the engine itself. A refractometer tells you what temperature your coolant is likely to freeze at. Minus 10 degrees Celsius, for example, or minus 15, or minus 20. It all depends how your car's been maintained. Either way, if the temperature where you live is likely to drop below the freezing point of your coolant, you might replace the coolant rather than risk damage to your car. Now. I've made a separate video that explains in detail how to use a refractometer and there's a link in the description of this video that takes you to it. However, in summary, you put a sample of coolant on the far end, then you look through the other end like a telescope and take a reading from the chart. Oh, that's very interesting. And that's it. That's how to check the engine coolant level on a Nissan Micro K11. Excuse me. What? There's a guy over there asking what's sticking out of my shirt. 
Well, it's funny you mention it because it's my new book. It's called How to Buy the Right Used Car and it guides you through the entire process in simple, easy to follow steps. It's available at Amazon and there's a link in the description of this video that takes you to it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more content. Right, that's all for now. Don't you just hate people who shamelessly promote their books?